Hey MGTOWS, this is Benjamin. Hope the wind noise isn't too bad. I just got back from seeing that movie Alita. Boy, I'm gonna have to pause this thing. I bet the wind is really bad. Okay, hold on. Burr. It may look nice out there, but it's friggin' cold out there. <laughs> Um, so as I was saying, I just got back from uh, watching Alita, and there was, basically it was a very good movie, and it takes quite a bit to get me out of the house and into a movie theater. That's not really my thing. So, uh... But basically, the feminists and the social justice warrior, leftist, angry, glorious, Steinem, fat ass, ugly, freaking hideous feminists, <laughs> they've been screaming about, uh, oh, everyday carry, even in the theater. <laughs> Nobody gave me any trouble. But um, they were screaming about Alita. It's like, oh, it's objectification. Oh, huh? they made her pretty and attractive and. And we hate that. And, <laughs> and what they hate is the fact that they can't look like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I found that quite amusing. And that was enough to get me out of the house to go see Alita. And also there was this fiasco about Rotten Tomatoes. And the uh, basically there's another movie coming out, as most people know. <laughs> most MGDO are probably aware, called uh, uh, Captain Marvel, <laughs> and it's basically the, uh, the main actress, Brie Larson, uh, of that movie has been just spewing feminist dogma and freaking hate, and it's like, and talking about how old white men are bad, and old white men have no business telling me anything about my freaking movie, and, uh, and just trashing in these horrible racist rants against, you know, white men and saying white men represent too many people in the freaking media. And, and uh, <laughs> it's like they're just and she's I mean, they they talk they, they talk about like openness and 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 like not judging people by their parents. And then they turn around and just uh you know, they don't walk their own talk, let's put it that way. So um, so basically, Brie Larson has been pissing off the very people who are the most likely to go see the friggin' movie. <laughs> and and now they're trying to market the uh, the movie to uh, women and uh, and women who like cats, you know, and they're in the in the early reviews, they're talking about how uh, the cat stole the show and how the cat was awesome <laughs> and um, live streaming the cat <laughs> and uh, and it's pretty pathetic you know and and they're already the leadership of Mar of uh, of the the people who made made the movie or making the movie were saying she is the most powerful character most powerful woman woman wonderful wonderful woman uh go women and yay women and uh they're the most powerful and and uh, all these women are freaking uh uh making reviews of the early thing it's so proud makes me so proud to be a woman to watch this frick this freaking movie and makes me happy to be w women go woman right and the cat was wonderful and da 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 <laughs> and and um the very people who have been uh who have been, who are the most likely to go see a, a movie based on comic books like Captain America, Iron Man, and all that good stuff? Uh, they basically are being uh, completely demonized by the friggin' people who make the movie and Disney, and then it all comes. I mean, it's all right back to the this whole horrible go woman, wonderful woman thing that Hollywood is just spewing out starting with like that well not starting with it but really 
shown on Ghostbusters 2 where the where they just dumped everything in the past and just replaced the male characters with women and they're and it was stupid, not funny, and <laughs> although I gotta admit, I didn't even go see it. Uh, but a lot of the reviewers were just saying how horrible it was, and uh, I believe them, because considering that cast, man, <laughs> it was not looking good. <laughs> so anyway, um, now they're making a remake of Ghostbusters with male characters and all and the women uh, especially that ugly ass horrible black woman who is like uh, she's like tweeting all over the place and saying oh this is horrible and uh, we're and talking about how full of rage she is about it and and uh, she's flaming and flaming the uh, the comments and uh, and people who were her audience you know were like trying to trying to talk back to her and she was like delete 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 block 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 and oh and ranting and ranting and uh yeah <laughs> and um then of course she had Mary Sue Awakens the uh the um <laughs> the most recent Star Wars movie uh, well not most recent but the Star Wars movie of, of a couple of them back uh the Force Awakens um my one of the biggest gripes I had was with that female character, uh, Ray. Uh, she just was like all powerful in all these situations and completely developed at the height of her power. And the people who made the movie just don't seem to understand what they call the hero's journey. Basically, yeah, the hero's journey, you have... You start out kind of low powered, you know, and you uh, and you learn, and then you overcome obstacles and gain in power, and you uh, have a big a bunch of uh, you know other obstacles that you go through as your as your abilities and your wisdom and your knowledge, and you learn more about the situation, and then you exceed your previous. Uh, limitations and you and then you master the situation and uh, and then uh, that is the hero's journey right whereas Rey in The Force Awakens didn't have that she was just like the master of everything completely skilled highly trained and uh, able to like overpower a freaking Sith trained and Jedi trained uh uh, force user, uh, you know, with just when she was just barely even starting, and uh, and then uh, you know, just the master of every situation, and it was just ridiculous. And then when when people have, when especially guys have a have a problem with that, oh, but the worst part of that freaking the Force Awakens, it just made me nauseated. It was an insult to every mechanic who ever lived. <laughs> And that is when when they couldn't, again, the tired old uh, uh, trope, I guess, of not the Millennium Falcon not being able to jump to hyperspace, right? And uh, basically uh, uh, Han Solo and, and Chewbacca, who freaking practically built that ship, um, were clueless as to what was wrong. And she says, oh, it's just the the servo pump or something and tweaked something in the freaking control panel and suddenly they were and she just solved the problem with her super duper mary sue uh abilities right and the master of every situation dun -dun 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 -dun, all the way through the freaking movie and uh that is not the hero's journey that is some kind of feminist freaking dream of super duper women all the time and horrible men and uh men fucking everything up and she is just freaking a goddess and perfect and then um uh, then <laughs> then they handed then they rammed the and i was just so disgusted by the whole thing um <laughs> i wasn't even going to see the freaking thing i i mean i heard bad shit about it so i 
watched it in another way <laughs> and I was just nauseated and then my dad wanted to see it and he dragged me down there to see it and I was like oh god here we go so and and I was dreading it and then when she fixed the freaking hyperdrive I just could uh, I just went oh! <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't stand it it was just nauseating that is just an, a slap in the face to every mechanic who has ever lived. You know, some some nobody just f walking in when you're a freaking expert on that machinery and saying, oh, it's just this. Bloop. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was irritating. But um, so I never even considered going to see The Last Jedi. Uh, and I still haven't seen it. I mean, shit, I could do a Usenet download or something. But, uh, but man... I, I do not want to allow Disney to destroy my memory of Luke Skywalker. Whatever whatever they have here uh, on that movie to to that they say is Luke Skywalker is not Luke Skywalker. <laughs> um, what they have in that movie is just a defeated a completely defeated, pathetic um, uh, old man who is just completely lost and without focus, and and uh, and it was just they say it was just really pathetic, and that, and then drinking freaking milk from a sea mammal <laughs> to survive in that island. I just I just couldn't stand to allow. Uh, Disney to just take away my memory of Luke Skywalker and replace it with that. So I didn't. I never saw it. I went MIGTO. <laughs> uh, so that, the, the journey of Rey uh, in these two movies is, it's not the hero's journey. It's just super duper woman thundering through the world, go girl, and being super and everything, and it's just pathetic, right? It's, you don't get anywhere, you don't accomplish anything, and it's just not, uh, it's not anything anybody can relate to except some, it's basically wish fulfillment for one of these fat, ugly, hideous, Gloria Steinem feminists, right? And basically, that's all it is. It's just some kind of wish fulfillment fantasy where they are used to being handed everything on a silver platter and they just do the same they just expect the same thing in their movies i suppose but uh <clears throat> and that's what they want that's what we're dealing with here and so now uh they have the feminists have looked at uh alita and they are just saying it's this horrible thing and why make her so attractive and sexy you know when she's a robot or a cyborg and um, so it's just um, yeah it's just uh, <laughs> understandable why they're pissed off about it because it's something they can never have once a once a woman lets herself fall into a giant pile of crap there is nothing that can really bring her back. <laughs> and the few of them who have managed to claw their back, their way back to attractiveness, you know, for a short period of time, end up falling apart six years later anyway. So, yeah, so it's understandable how the rage that they feel at their own shortcomings is directed at a movie like that. But now they are handing us uh, Captain Marvel. <laughs> and... I, I mean, it doesn't look good. It's, uh, the main actress is a freaking horrid feminist, hates white people, apparently, hates men, apparently. So, um, yeah, she's a freaking racist and a sexist bigot, and, and she's been spewing her crap all over, uh, these interviews and pissing off the very people who are likely to go see the friggin' movie in the first place. I don't understand why Disney hasn't have, hasn't taken some kind of action against her. Because there she is costing them millions of dollars. <laughs> Many millions. <clears throat> so 
Yeah, I find that mildly amusing, and I am not looking forward to Captain Marvel. I have no intention of actually seeing it, uh, unless it gets like stellar reviews. But even then, I probably won't watch it on in the theaters. I can't support uh, an establishment that just hates us so bad. I mean, anybody with a dangler, they friggin' hate. <laughs> so, um, so, and I'm also suspicious, and I am expecting the worst from them. They are making this movie for women, feminists, and it's going to be another Mary Sue, and she's going to be at the height of her power and just thundering through the world and just whacking freaking... Uh, you know, batting, you know, opponents apart. And then, of course, they're going to put her head to head with the Hulk, of course, because he's like supposed to be the the biggest, strongest person. Right. And um, and she's going to, of course, humiliate the Hulk, you know, with her great humongous power. And what what the heck is the point of seeing that? <laughs> we get enough of that shit in the real world. <laughs> So, yeah, I really don't have any plans to see it. And we're not going to see a hero's journey. We're going to see another Mary Sue. So, just recently, um, in fact, yesterday, last night, um, the website Rotten Tomatoes has reacted to people uh, making, uh, you know, basically they used to have this thing where you could, like, go to the Rotten Tomatoes and... And, and uh, say if you are interested in watching a movie or not, right? And I think, um, I think the, the not interested, <laughs> the not interested side of it went up to like something, uh, I mean, it was down to like only like 26% of people wanted to see the movie. The rest of them didn't want to see the movie. And and Rotten Tomatoes then um, censored. They gagged everybody who who used who is subscribed to them and a member of their site, and they cut the um, they cut the reviews. Uh, they cut out that feature, and also they've been well known for uh, silencing uh, dissenters. Uh, you know, on the main reviews as well. Supposedly, if you put just one star, they don't count it. They don't even, you know, it's like hidden. And everything else, like uh, two and two to five, and of course they count the fives, uh, that all counts. <laughs> so, you know, they are, they are basically gagging people, gagging the, uh, depriving people of their speech just like youtube and facebook and twitter and all of these big websites and um the big corporate elite the feminist leftist elite they just they have control of this shit <laughs> and it's um it's important that we are aware of that but my um my response is that that's just gonna that's just gonna piss us off even more you know cutting free speech and gagging free speech like that, that is not going to be looked upon favorably by the fans. <laughs> so, um, in fact, the very reason why I went to see Alita is because, is be, this morning, is because the, the whole leftist, feminist uh, establishments hates that movie that all of the reviews that it got from the professional soy boy feminist reviewers was just shitty right really low and the audience score is very high <laughs> so um and just like um like the um that movie that new show that star trek knockoff geez i can't even remember what its name is right now but um uh, but basically, uh, it got really shitty corporate reviews and very good audience scores. And now this, now there's the, uh, in the second season, the Orville. Yeah. Now in the second season, the ratings are starting to come up from the professional reviewers as well. And what's happening is, uh, if, well, my take on this is if 
people are deprived of their ability to to sh to speak you know if if people are robbed of their ability to speak they will find other ways of speaking and other ways of communicating and um disney is not gonna like it <laughs> it's the mary sue awakens and and um soilo <laughs> they call it the so han solo movie it i mean um it took two movies um mary sue awakens and um uh the last jedi to really piss off the fans and then all of the hate and shaming that the uh, establishment of disney disney and lucas films has been given giving to the fans calling them incels and misogynists and <laughs> and uh um failures and basement dwellers they just dump the whole freaking load that we migtoes have been hearing for like 10 years uh they just dump the whole load on us <laughs> and it's not having much of an it's not having any effect and the only thing that's happening is it's making the resistance stronger and the result was plain to see in the box office receipts of Soilo <laughs> and um this last Jedi movie whatever it is they're going to be spewing out uh, I I expect that they are not going to have they are going to find the audience uh um uh, the the income that they earn from it, I think they're going to be disappointed. And that can only be good. If they don't provide us with a product that we can enjoy, people are going to be walking away, just like with marriage. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I love seeing this awakening of, uh, of sort of um, center... You know, p people who even are liberals are now walking away from the crazy Marxist, fe massively hideous, dif dysfunctional feminist um, culture that is going on and that they're that the elite are trying to ram down our throats. And there is a real rebellion against all of that ha in progress. And it is a real culture war. And it, that. I find it encouraging that finally the people with a little bit of common sense are starting to wake up and and resist to to some degree. I mean, not hugely. Nobody's throwing Molotovs, uh, but um, but we are we are exerting our power. The great beast is starting to awaken, and the elites who have been trying to tie it down and drug it into oblivion is starting to wake up and man i am happy to see this <laughs> okay mig toes that's about all i got for you um i went to see alita today because the feminists and the marxists and the professional reviewers they just hated it so bad that man i thought it must be good and i was right it was really good <laughs> so yeah I managed, I took time to go see it, even though I'm not really a movie guy, and I am happy I did. I'm not going to go see it a bunch of times or anything, but I did like the movie. Okay, guys, that's about all I got for you, and don't get married.